Hello again, welcome to another Bolted Connection video in Inventor 2017. This time we're looking at an iLogic rule that can automatically update all the Bolted Connections that are found in the top level uh, assembly. So you may or may not be aware that there's a manual way of doing this, of telling a bolt to automatically update itself. Um, and I'm going to show you the manual way first and then the iLogic way that automates it. So. Um, for an example here what we've got is this this bracket for instance it's got a bolted connection on there it may not be exactly how this goes together in real life but it'll illustrate the point and i'm just going to thicken this sort of isolator pad that's on the back here and the bolted connection will need to update as a result so if i double click on this pad let's just change the extrusion by double clicking on it i'm going to make that a lot chunkier so it's now much fatter i'm going to return to the top level assembly and the top face of the, the bolt is fine, but you can see the nuts and washers have buried themselves in, in the isolator now. So manually, what we can do for this is we can f first off find the bolted connection. So I can right click on the bolt here and say find in browser. Uh, and then um, if I just expand this here, once we've found it in the browser, you see it's got a lightning bolt by it. So I can right click on it manually and turn on automatic solve here. So if I do that, it's going to solve itself. The problem with that is I would then have to turn this off. You can see this little icon here indicates that it's uh, automatically solving. Leaving that on with potentially dozens of bolted connections would be just as bad as leaving dozens or hundreds of adaptive parts in an assembly all looking for changes. It will slow things down and Inventor will struggle as a result. So you would have to or you'd be advised to right click and turn off automatic solve by clicking manual solve afterwards. So this is fine. This is you see that icon disappears there. It's not a problem if I've only got one bolt to do, but let's just say I had dozens of bolts that weren't patterned as we've got here. We've got a pattern in this case. Um, then we would have to find each one of those bolted connections, select them and uh, solve them and then turn off automatic solve afterwards. So definitely a good candidate for some automation with a, a simple bit of iLogic. So um, Let's do that now. I'm just going to revert that change back that I just did. Let's uh, put that um, pad back where it was. Let's find that uh, bolted connection again in the browser by right clicking. Let's solve it by turning on automatic solve. And then let's turn off automatic solve by right clicking again and turn on manual solve. And now let's do this process automatically with the iLogic rule. So I'm going to double click on um, that uh, isolator again, change the extrusion size to 25, um, return to my top level. So we need an update here. Let's just take a little look at the iLogic code. Nothing particularly clever in here. All it's doing is going through all the top level components in the assembly. And if the name of the component has bolt in it, then it's recognizing it as a bolted connection. Okay, so it'll only work for items that have bolt in it. If you need to, that to behave differently, you can customize this rule, of course. Then for each of those items, it's selecting them and just running the auto bolt connection um, solve command um, in Inventor. Then it's turning off the auto solve command for the same uh, items and telling you how many it's changed. Okay, so um, if I just cancel that, and if I run this rule now, let's just zoom in a bit more so that we can see. Um, if I just right click and run this uh, update all bolted connections rule. There we are. So um, 166 bolted connections were updated. Um, so that hopefully this will come in handy for you. Just remember it's only working on top level um, assembly occurrences. You can modify the rule and make it work on sub occurrences if you fancy and it's only working for um, occurrences that have bolt in the name so for instance here if this one was not called bolted connection it was just called connection it would not have found it and updated it okay so just be aware of that all right i hope you find this very useful thanks for listening